I got that name, it's a Watson. And how it came about was this doctor told me what I create is very special and unique. And it shouldn't be called just woodworking, Watson woodworking. It needs to have a special name. He came up with that idea of saying, it's a Watson like no other. And it stuck, and for 42 years now, I'm using it, it's a Watson. Now, if you don't know what it's a Watson is, it's a Watson is taking 100 year old cypress wood and carving three dimensional and then painting it with acrylics. All of my carvings is from 100 to 150 year old wood. I can carve anything you like from pictures of your home, your memories, or old photographs. If you get a Watson, it's going to be 3D carved out of at least 100 year old wood. My passion in life is to capture the history of old things bygone area. My grandmother died at 92 and her story and life, the way she lived, the things she had to do to survive, give me my passion to create and carve. I carved the way they washed clothes. I carved how they had to raise gardens and farm the way they lived, picking moss off of cypress trees to make pillowcases and stuffing for seats. My grandmother was my inspiration in life, and I like to praise every teacher and educator. Had not been for them, we wouldn't do what we do. How do you learn from someone teaching? Teachers don't get enough praise. I praise them because someone taught me. It's a Watson is starting a new venture. I have bought a tour bus. That tour bus has been converted into a Watson Gallery. So look around, coming up in the near future this summer, you'll see a bus with it's a Watson on it, and you can actually walk into my gallery. The uniqueness of what I create, number one, the 100 year old wood that I use. Number two, it's three dimensional. You can reach out and touch it. But I also love the culture of Louisiana. I capture people's memories. I capture their dreams. I capture their life stories. When you get a Watson, you're getting something that you can never get anywhere else. They tell me I'm the ambassador for South Louisiana. I tell them I'm just doing the stories that I love because Louisiana is full of a lot of stories. It's like the melting pot wherever you go. Like the gumbo, everything's put in, a lot of great stuff come out. We really enjoyed becoming Ollie members because of events like this where they put on nice talks. It's uh, open to anyone that wants to come and participate or enjoy the presentation. Uh, I had not heard of Henry Watson before. Uh, the talk he gave was very informative. Uh, look, watching what he did, it's, uh, found out that during his presentation that one of his main mentors is actually a cousin of my wife, Lucy Parzange. I'm surprised at how well known Henry is and that I had not heard of him before. Uh, we frequent Jazz Fest in New Orleans and we saw during his video that he must as well because there is a sign behind him with his name written on it that is in a style that they use at Jazz Fest every year. Uh, my wife and I were just talking about purchasing a piece, possibly even have commissioned him to come to our house at Lake Rosemont to pick up a card, so hopefully that'll work. Uh, I'm really impressed with Henry Watson, and I really enjoyed the woodworking and the storytelling. The woodworking reminded me when I was in school, just like him, I had a teacher, an art teacher, that let us do wood carving. So now I'm going to go see if I can find my wood carving to uh, bring back that memory. And I'm just impressed at how far he went from that teaching experience that he had. I saw that he had a sense of gifting from God for what he had, and that he acknowledged that gift. And also, I was impressed when I talked to him that he said that he tried to listen to God's leadership about where he went 
and what he did in using that gift. So giving acknowledgement to God for his gift was a blessing to me as a believer also. He does a fabulous job of bringing to the world the culture that he remembers as a child. I treasure those kinds of things myself, and especially in an artist who can bring that forward to us. The second thing I noticed, of course, was his style of work. You don't see a 3D painting very often, and he captures those cabins and the homes just perfectly. You'll look at, I looked at one of the pieces and it felt as though I was right beside the clapboards of the house. He's incredibly talented. But the thing that I like the most, personally, is that his talk inspired me. I, I do a little bit of creative work and when you hear the passion in his voice and the dedication to working every day at something you love, to create what he creates, it's inspiring to the rest of us. OLLI stands for OSHA, OSHA Lifelong Learning Institute of LSU. Mr. Bernard Osher, who I think is in his upper 90s now, is the man that decided and thought there should be something for people that, ha that are 50, but they should not stop learning just because they hit 50. And that is definitely true. You just keep learning, keep adding to your life. So Ali is a wonderful organization. If you're not a member, I hope you seriously consider joining us. Top three reasons to join Ali, I would say number one besides education. The second one would just be socializing. Meeting other people, greeting other people, learning about other people. So socialization is something that many of us learn during COVID that we missed so terribly. And I would say the third reason for joining Ollie is to expand your world. Take a class that you may know very little about. Mr. Henry Watson is certainly a gifted man, talented man, and he has a large heart. You can tell that by the way he speaks. I think the thing I took away from him was the fact that he learned early on in his life that he had a gift for art and he wanted to pursue that and he did and does continue to pursue that for I think he said 42 years. Thank you. Make sure you get my good side. Well, which side is that? All of them. <laughs>